To ensure the continuation of the species, organisms use two methods of reproduction, sexual and asexual. Sexual reproduction involves the fusing of two gametes, one from each parent, to form new organisms. Asexual reproduction does not require a second parent. In the giraffe, for example, sexual reproduction involves much energy as firstly the gera has to grow by mitosis and develop to maturity. In flowers, the germline cells undergo meiosis to form millions of gametes. The male gametes inside pollen are dispersed and if they are lucky, unite in fertilization with the female gametes to form embryos, seeds and fruit. These all undergo mitosis to grow and develop within the parent body and so this requires a great deal of material and energy. Seeds are dispersed and in the right environmental conditions they germinate. Due to meiosis and random fertilization, the resulting offspring show variability from their parents and each other. This variety ensures biodiversity. Asexual reproduction in the kangaroo paw involves less energy as the parent plant can undergo mitosis to form new plants. Kangaroo paws use rhizomes protected underground. New shoots emerge from these rhizomes. The new plants are identical to their parents and each other and may be produced relatively quickly. These are useful traits in agriculture and horticulture as the new plants are genetically similar to their parents.